All right. Let's add them up. Shna? This is already aligned. It's already stacked up. And your eyeballs are going to be drawn to your X's. Why are they drawn to the X's? Because if we add them up, Ray, what do you notice about our X's? What is a negative 3X plus 3X? That's a zero. That means your X's have just been eliminated. That is the whole objective. If it doesn't matter which one. It could be your X's or your Y's. But if one of them cancels out, then it's a cakewalk. So now let's add this up. What is a negative 4Y plus 8Y? So we got 4Y. And let's add your constants. What's 23 plus a negative 7? 16. If 4Y equals 16, what's Y? Divide by 4, divide by 4. Y is 4. Now, that's only half your answer. You've got to find x. If y is 4, how can you find x? Substitute y for 4. The top or the bottom? Either one. What one do you like? Bottom, maybe me too, because it's all positive. Okay, here we go. The bottom says to do 8 times y. If I know y is 4, what's 8 times 4? So you got this. You got 3x plus 32 equals a negative 7. Now solve for x, minus 32, minus 32. You're going to have 3x equals, what's a minus 7 and a minus 32? Negative 39, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals a negative 13. There is your solution. So elimination, when do we use elimination, Irving? When do we use it? When do we use this method right here, elimination? When they're lined up. Okay, Shania, this one, easy. Next one, this is medium. So can you move it around and make it? Yes, you can. This one's not so easy. Here we go. Shania, they are already stacked. They're lined up. So, you want to zero out your X's or your Y's. Look at them. Look at your X's. Look at your Y's. Which ones are going to be easier to zero out? Why do your eyeballs go to the Y's? Because they're the same. Now, what's a negative 2Y and a negative 2Y? It's a negative 4Y. So, time out. You're done. They did not zero out. If they don't naturally zero out, you might have to force it. This is the beauty of mathematics. This is some engineer thinking. Here we go. We got a problem. So you're going to have to be creative and force it to cancel. How can you force it to cancel? Change the sign. Who said that? Genius. You should be an engineer. So what if I change this bot? Or you could do the top. It doesn't matter. If I change one of these y's to a plus, you got to change all the so if I do the bottom if I change that to a plus 2y I got to change that to a minus x and I got to change that to a plus 17 so if you change one you got to change them all and it's totally legal so now what's 10x minus x 9x plus your y's cancel what's 10 plus 17 27 if 9x is 27 what's x X is 3. If X is 3, what's Y? Now, if X is 3, you're going to have to take it. Let's plug it. Let's just for fun, let's plug it right here. Let's plug it into the top. Where did you get 10? 10? Yeah, we can get a 10. So, if I take this X is 3 and I plug it in right here. This says to do 10 times x. What's 10 times 3? 30 minus 2y equals 10. So now, Ray, you got to solve for y. Get rid of the 30. Minus 30. Minus 30. So minus 2y equals negative 20. Divide by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. y equals 10. 
Who likes elimination? Better than substitution. Okay, now, you engineers, future engineers, it's going to get more complex. So sometimes you're going to have to force it. Shania, how are you going to force this one? Okay, let's add them up. Look, they're stacked. If they're already stacked, elimination, that's the way to go. All right. Now, do your eyeballs go to your X's or your Y's? Which ones are going to cancel? Why do you say the Y's? You're right. The Y's. I got 3Y and minus 12Y. How am I going to cancel the Y's? What if this top y was a 12y and the bottom was a minus 12y? Then they would cancel. How can I change a 3y into what I want? I want a 12y. If you times it by 4, you have to times each term by 4. So what's a negative 6x times 4? What's negative 6x times 4? Negative 24x plus 12y equals, what's a negative 9 times 4? Negative 36. Okay, your bottom, you don't touch, just copy and paste. 8x minus 12y equals negative 28. Okay, add them up. What's a negative 24x and 8x? What's a negative 24 plus 8? Negative 16. Negative 16x plus... This is the beautiful part. Your y's cancel. 0 equals, what's negative 36, negative 28? Negative 64. Okay, now solve for x. Negative 16 times x. Divide by negative 16. Divide by negative 16. What's negative 64 divided by negative 16? X is 4. But that's only half your answer. Five five. How is y5? Five? Y is 5? How do you know y is 5? It says on the paper. No, it doesn't. <laughs> x is 4. Irving, I'm going to put it in the bottom one. X is 4. The bottom says to do 8 times x. What's 8 times 4? 32 minus 12y equals negative 28. Solve for y. Minus 32, minus 32. So that cancels, and you got a negative 12y equals a negative 60. Divide by negative 12, divide by negative 12, y is 5.